Hey everybody, welcome to the limited edition version of episode 990. Boy, have we come a long ways. Uh, we are recording this on Thursday, September 29th, 2016. Doing the intro for the second time because I am sick as a doggy. But I'm still coming to you to bring you this fantastic podcast. Mainly I'm going to sit back and we're going to let the co-host do all the work tonight. I am... One of your hosts, Josh Brown. I am joined by the man who uh, watched greased pigs getting caught earlier this evening, mm. Jason Greer. Good evening. How are we doing tonight? Well, you're doing much better than I am. Yeah. yeah. I just swapped over to a BB-8 card, too. So You did officially? Two, two to three weeks. Here's the thing. Disney Visa cards? Yeah. You can just choose the main designs you want. They send you a new card. Nothing's different between... As far as I could read it, I know there's nothing different from the outside, so unless the, the card reader says something different. Sure. So you can just swap it out any time, any day of the week. So, so the, the number's the same? Name's the same, the expression's the same, the, ex, the three digits on the back's the same. Huh. Because so. I, I just got my new debit card from my bank, which I was super excited about because they finally decided to implement chip technology, mm. which is fantastic. Um, so I was super excited about that. You know, getting a new thing is, is always is exciting. And then I realized that it's a completely different number. So the number I've remembered for the last four years, I have to eliminate Oof. from my memory and Oof. try to remember a new one. And then all the online accounts that I have are tied to it. Like, it's 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 a mess, man. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. All you want is just a little bit of new technology and your whole world gets flipped upside down. Yeah. I tell you what. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> this is, uh, the limited edition version, as I, uh, already alluded to. This is the shortened, abbreviated version of our normal show for those that are just interested in the hot topics, the news and such. Uh, we don't get into a lot of discussion about what's going on. We save that for the regular show, but we understand time is valuable and some of you just don't have a lot of time to spend on two schmucks like us. So we give you just a little bit of taste of what you'd be missing with the regular show in case you decide to carve out a couple hours in your week to listen to that fuller version. Um, we have been getting some feedback um, last couple weeks. People are saying that uh, they do appreciate the limited edition. They listen to both. Some people are saying they listen to both just for the intros. Cool. Like, whatever your reason is, we appreciate it 100%. <laughs> Um, we're just glad that we could offer this to you guys out there that are looking, um, for our content without devoting a couple hours each week. Like I said, uh, big thank you to our executive producer, George Torres. Um, apparently he's waiting for me to come down in November. Uh, so that's cool. Good. Good. Yeah. Can't wait. Um, and then PSX gets announced in Anaheim a couple weekends after I'm going to be in Anaheim. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> Can I fly down there for the weekend? I probably could. Yeah, I, I was so tempted because uh, the video game awards are like that Thursday, right? So, which are going to be in the LA area, also. I don't think they confirmed a venue yet, uh, but probably going to be in the Microsoft Theater again, I would presume. Yeah. Um, but you know that'd be a rad weekend. But unfortunately, I can't go. I I could theoretically pull off PSX, but I still don't think I'm going to go. But... Right. It'd be the whole week. That'd be tough for you. Yeah. Um. Show sponsor, of course, Devin Lachinsky. Uh, you could find him over on YouTube. He has a YouTube page. Uh, he's doing some cool stuff over there, trying to get that launched. Uh, any support that you could give him over there is much appreciated to us because he supports what we do for you guys for the community. Uh, you can find him over on YouTube.com slash user slash D-L-A-S-C-H and then the number two. Um, so thank you to both of those fine gentlemen for making this show possible as always. Let's get down to it, Jason. Let's do it. We have Disney Infinity news this week. <laughs> Who <would've laughs> came out of nowhere. Who would have guessed? <laughs> um, yeah, a Peter Pan figure showed up. Um, there is confirmed in by JV, just a couple in the wild. Um, so it just. I'm, I'm, I haven't yet to figure out who the original source was. Yeah, I got um, muddied. Yeah, but um, everybody, you know, want to take credit for it themselves. But, but yeah, so it is out there. It's not playable. Uh, more than likely, it's just one of the higher-ups or somebody in the staff has it because they, they're still getting production design, you know, approval. So 
Um, I mean, there might be a, a couple of figures out there, and there's probably even less of figures in the boxes, um, just because obviously have to get all that approved. So uh, it's not it's, it's one of those not a shocker by any means that they're out there, um, but it was just odd it just randomly showed up. So I think I heard someone was trying to sell one for like an absorbent amount of money, um, but you know, is what it is. <laughs> uh, cool to see, but yeah. real blurry angled box there. I didn't I didn't think it was real at first. Um, but JV said, I mean, it, apparently that's what it was supposed to look like. I mean, obviously, we already saw the figure design, and even the figure itself wouldn't be hard for somebody to make. Sure. Um, but, the, but then the box isn't necessarily that hard. But it's everything about some of it seemed odd to buy it. So, yeah. again, it wasn't even necessarily final production run. But um, JV said, it's, I mean, that's what they looked like. So, so we don't have 100% confirmation that, that that actually is a real thing, but it looks close enough to what the real thing would have been to where it fooled JV. So, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Could we scrounge up some money and try to buy this sucker? <laughs> I, think, I think so. <laughs> um, let's Could be, be under a lockbox on our next panel. <laughs> just, just sell tickets to come look at the Peter Pan yeah. figure. <laughs> See the amazing Peter Pan. <laughs> um, Amiibo. What's going on with Amiibo? Uh, no news this week for Amiibo at all. Um, but um, the one big thing we did want to talk about is uh, Nintendo Wire and Amiibo News. Um, are having their Customs for a Cure event this weekend. So if you want to check out their charity stream, um, as well as all their eBay auctions um, going up this weekend, they've been teasing out some of the stuff they're going to be throwing out for auction. Um, all of it looks really, really, really cool. So uh, definitely be sure to go check that out. Definitely. Um, earlier today, for those that care about pre-orders, Walmart opened up pre-orders for the Zelda figures. Mm. You know, case... Pre-orders at Walmart. <sighs> Rookies. Rookies, I say. Um, Rookies. Pre-orders are so 2015. Um, Let me say, Joshua. Let <laughs> <laughs> me say. We'll we'll dive into that on the regular show because uh, I got a story to tell. Um, light seekers. Do we have any new information about light seekers? Nothing really in Lightseekers. Again, showing off some more stuff. More Q&A videos are popping up. Um, some other stuff that's showing up on their YouTube channel. Just basically just still just pushing stuff out each day. Just basically re-reminding you of stuff just so that you pay somewhat attention there. But right. um, um, so cool stuff. Keep checking out. They did a spotlight on No2 last week, I think. I, don't know, if we talk- I know we talked about the Q&As, but um, so, uh, did a spotlight on the one figure. The Q&A second video I guess it was, actually came out after our last podcast, but like half the questions came out from our uh, community, so that was that was hilarious to hear. Right, like this question comes from Ken Pascator, and I'm like, hey, I know him. <laughs> and uh, um, I think uh, Phoenix got one in too. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's I know there's at least two more. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to carry them off the top of my head. It was like a long time I watched, but I was like, huh, I know them. I know them. So, <laughs> excellent job, community. Excellent job. Yep. Keep it up. Uh, we appreciate that. Um. It definitely sounds like that's going to be like a weekly thing that they do for the time being, which uh, is awesome because, you know, they're showing as much transparency as they possibly can. Um, obviously, they're pre-selecting the questions that they answer, but still, like, they're they're talking to the community and trying to answer the questions that the community has about this new franchise that's coming out before it comes out. So, like, what more could you possibly ask for with that sort of thing? Um, and the videos are well done. Like they they answer the questions thoroughly and um, as effectively as they possibly can. So, uh, kudos, light seekers, for continuing the community outreach over there for sure. Um, let's see. Let's go over to Skylander, shall we? Let's do it. All right. Yeah. So Skylanders this week. A um, couple things that were interesting to pop up. First of all, out of nowhere once again, um, Amazon put two new figure bundles up. Um, one is an eight pack, and then one was a girl power four pack, um, which was just four of the girls from the eight pack. Uh, but both are up. You get like a ten dollar discount, I think it was, on both of those um, if you pre-order through those. But it's all essentially the eight packs, all of wave or part of wave one and two. But if you buy the other five pack that they had before, Chompy Mage, um, you would get all of wave one and two. Plus, obviously, you still get Chompy Mage um, as well. Right. Um, which is coming out of Wave 3. So it was interesting to show up there. So it's kind of one of those things that, um, I mean, obviously we keep saying that Toys R Us is probably going to have Wave 2, you know, soon after launch day again. Um, but it was interesting to see this from Amazon because it's one of those things that's just, 
you know, that's that, in my opinion, could affect Toys R Us sales a lot, but um, we'll see because it's nice and convenient for a lot of people. You don't have to worry about trying to go hunting. Right. Um, you save a little bit of a discount on it. Sure. But yeah, get them all out there. Um, so it's interesting deal. It's people, people are like, are, are buying it, but they're kind of having one of those like love, love and hate thing about it, which is kind of the same way I am. Like it's somewhat ruining the fun of it all, but um, I mean, we'll see what happens, but it's, it's nice for the consumers at the end of the day, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. No harm, no foul. Um, secondly, uh, we got some more look at the packaging coming out for wave one. Um, some of the dual packs, um, and the, the creation crystals, the three packs, uh, and then the, we saw the crash bandicoot pack as well. The adventure pack, mm -hmm. uh, just showing again, crash bandicoot and Dr. Neo cortex, uh, again, something we've already known about. So it's just more so just for people who like packaging, like the nerds, like us, um, it was fun <laughs> to see, um, some more pictures of the box leaked out. Um, from the demo box that confirmed 30 plus creation crystals. Um, so we know there are going to be a bunch of variants. But then in addition to that, one fan in the Netherlands, two fans actually, actually got the game already because <laughs> the retailer decided to ship it. Like, man, it's close enough and shipped it off. Um, so they got it in the mail. And on uh, the confirmed the collection screen, it looks like it's going to be 31. Um, obviously that might change with like, if they do store exclusive ones or other things like that, but it looks like we might get 31 creation crystals, um, for those who are looking to collect them all. Yeah. Who, who isn't at this point, really? Who isn't? Right. I mean, at least it's not a hundred. <laughs> right? At least they didn't make one for everyone you'll theoretically need because of the battle class. Well, fiasco. Wouldn't that well, be convenient? They did. The one person confirms that they are not resettable. Um, and again, that, you know, not saying it's going to happen, but theoretically it could change at any minute and they could do a day one patch or something, sure. but you know, don't get your hopes up. But, yeah. um, as of this stage is not resettable. Mm. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. <sighs> it's how it rolls, my friend. It's how it rolls. Indeed. Um, Lego Dimensions. It's uh Lego Dimensions week here. Yeah. So the Lego Dimensions finally came out wave six. I'm um, excited to get all the hands on that. A lot of people are excited in checking it out. Um, got a bunch of videos recorded, queued them up, but I have yet to even play. <laughs> so I spent like four or five hours recording videos, but I haven't even had a chance to play it yet. Sure. Um, but excited to check into that this weekend. Starting with Mission Impossible level pack is what I'm going to dive into first. So you started decided. with, huh? Yeah. Um, but it's going to be a fun time checking that out. A lot of, a lot of people... Who have been enjoying it? Uh, been a bunch of issues, more than I thought there was going to be. Uh, but we'll dive into that more in the full show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, credits uh, are interesting in showing there uh, when you finish a the level. There's going to be it says wave six through ten. So mm -hmm. uh, they confirmed tens out there. Again, not a huge surprise with the wave seven and a half. Um, again, it's like it's not. It's one of those things. It's a a footnote or a tweet story. It's not a breaking news kind of thing. Um, I mean, it, it's we saw this coming per se too, and I don't think this means anything i don't necessarily even think this confirms they're hiding anything i think just retailers have, you know the the marketing department or release team or whoever is changing how they want to release stuff sure. so I don't, I don't think there's a backstory besides they just changed their plan which you know is what it is oh i think they got something hiding you think so yep mm. we'll see but they um and then the other thing is just uh which we'll talked about in the the full show there but the overall general confusion of how to access the new content was botched awfully. <laughs> like, good lord, who knew it was so hard to play the stuff you bought? Yeah. Um, so give get into that in a moment. Um, don't hate the system, hate the communication. Yeah. Um, so, but we'll t we'll give into that um, in the full show there. But if you are struggling and you feel like an idiot because you can't figure out how to access anything, don't worry, it's not just you. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll definitely discuss how they managed to make something which seemed easy before so complicated. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how that transition happened, um, but yet here we are. So uh, trust me, folks, it's not just you guys. It's uh, it's everybody. Um, but we'll we'll discuss that in the regular show, like Jason said. Um, I think that about wraps up all the big uh, talking points for this week, Jason. Yeah, a little bit of a slow leak, but um, still, obviously, with Skyrim, it's going to pick up still. Yep. Um, still a lot to show. I mean, it's still, like, I posted the picture. There's 10, 11 figures. I forget how many there is. 
now that I posted, um, that uh, they've yet to announce. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, we're running out of time. <laughs> uh, yeah, 11 of them. And they got, like, a little bit over two weeks to announce 11 figures. And they just had a big video game expo in Europe, and they didn't announce any of them. Yep. So, I mean, it, it, it's one, if they don't want to announce them, okay, but they're on the freaking poster in the game. <laughs> so Kids are going to know these exist. Like You do you, Skylanders. <laughs> you do you. You can't hide them. I, I was really hoping I was going to get a takedown notice in the email. It would just be the perfect thing. Yeah. I was going to respond back like, you guys are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Doing you a solid here. Back up. Just email back to Thrillpede and then just, <laughs> <laughs> just send them to your counter. Uh, <laughs> um, Jason, where can people find you at on the internet? Yeah, you can always follow me personally on Twitter, twitter.com slash Jason Inquires. Um, obviously, the same thing on Instagram, um, Snapchat, Facebook, YouTube, all that kind of fun jazz. Um, and obviously, head to all the Toys Life centric accounts of Brick Inquirer, Skylanders Inquirer, um, and Late Seekers Inquirer. You're doing Snapchat, huh? Yeah, it's on there. I don't know how to use it, but it's oh, okay. there. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting excited. I'm like, oh, I need to check out your snaps and yeah. your, your daily stories, because I'm sure that's a thing. Oh, yeah. No. Um, you can find me personally on Twitter, at The Noise with a Y. Uh, be sure to follow the show on Twitter, at Toys for Games. Uh, you could email us, podcast at toysforgames.com. Uh, check out our Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash toys for games. Go over there and wish Ken a speedy recovery. He seems to be doing good. Um, I think he's just spending his entire week off from work on Facebook. Uh, <laughs> so if you go over there and post, he'll see it. He has nothing else to do. So go say hi to Ken. Gotta get that bed breath. That's right. Uh, check out our website, toysforgames.com. And if you'd like to support us and what we do here, just like our executive producer and show sponsor did, uh, you can support us over on Patreon, patreon.com slash toys for games. With that being said, we're going to go record the full length episode for episode 90. It's going to be a lot of fun. I encourage you to stick around for that. But if this is all the time you had, thank you for spending a few minutes with us. We appreciate it. Until next time, happy hunting, collectors. <laughs>